My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa by Lisa Boulard, illustrated by Costanza Basaluzzo. Chapter One, Ready for Kwanzaa. Hi, I'm Kevin. We're getting ready for Kwanzaa. That's a special holiday for my family. It celebrates our African-American culture. My mom puts a mat on the table. I add the candle holders and candles. Mom adds fruits and vegetables. Next comes the unity cup. We put out presents too. Now we're ready for Kwanzaa. What holiday is Kevin's family getting ready for? Kwanzaa. Chapter two, lighting the candles. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. We light another candle each night. My grandpa goes first. Tonight, he lights the black candle. Then grandpa explains the Kwanzaa word for the first day. Every day has a special word in Swahili. That's an African language. Grandpa's word means unity. That means sticking together as a group. The Swahili word for unity is umoja. Sticking together is why Kwanzaa began. A man named Dr. Maulana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966. He wanted to bring African Americans together. How many days does Kwanzaa last? Hmm. I don't think we've talked about that yet. Oh, Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. That's right. Chapter three, another word each night. Somebody new lights the candles each night. I watch closely, so I'm ready for my turn. Mom lights the candles on the third night. We talk about helping one another solve problems. My brother lights the candles on the fifth night. We talk about setting goals to help our community. My goal is to be a teacher. Yay! The sixth night of Kwanzaa is my favorite. We go to a big party every year. Who lights the candles on the third night? I think it was, oh, his mom. Chapter four, my turn. It's the last day of Kwanzaa. I finally get to light the candles. Grandpa says my special word means faith. He says I should believe in our people every day. That will be like living Kwanzaa all year long. What does Kevin's special word mean? Faith. And the Swahili word for that is covered up on this page, but it's... It's <laughs> Imani. Imani means faith for the last day of Kwanzaa. And here's a little bit more about Kwanzaa and some more questions to think about. Why was Kwanzaa created? Why do you think Kwanzaa lasts for seven days? That was... My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa by Lisa Bullard and Constanza Pasaluso. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons, and hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out new videos. And if you want to learn about something in particular, send me a message. Thanks for watching, and happy Kwanzaa!